All right, guys, next circuit. We've got another parallel circuit. If you don't have a copy of this, then you can quickly jot down the values. Again, there's a print off. You can print off a copy from my website. There's a link in the YouTube channel there to the site. So this one here, we've got resistance circuit number eight. And what have I given you? I've given you total voltage here of 120 volts. What else? I've given you, this is another transposition question. So total current is 12 amps. And everything's given to you in terms of I2. So there's I2. The third current here, I3, is two times that second current. And the first current is the second current divided by two. So it's half of the second current. So we have to do some transposition here in order to find I2. And once we find I2, then we can drop it in and find everything else in the circuit. So to save some time, uh, you can pause the video here and see if you can work through to find your second current and all the other values in the circuit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down here and show you the calculations. There we go. Okay, so if we have uh, I t is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, and we drop in each of the individual values. So uh, the first current is uh, I2 divided by 2. This stays the same because everything's in terms of I2. And the third current is double what I2 is. Then we drop in our total current of 12 amps. And we can see that 12 amps is equal to I2 divided by 2 plus another 3 times the second, second current. And remember that whenever you do to one side of the equation, you've got to do to the other side of the equation. So first thing we may want to do is to get rid of that denominator there. So in order to do that, I have to multiply everything by 2. I've got to multiply this by 2, this by 2, and this by 2. That way we'll just end up with the second current. So 12 times 2 is 24. Half of I2 times 2 gives me I2, and 3 times I2 times 2 gives me 6 times the second current. Okay, so all we did was we eliminated that denominator by multiplying everything in the circuit on the left-hand side and the right-hand side by 2. So now we've got this 24 amps is equal to the second current plus 6 times the second current. Well, that means that 24 amps is equal to 7 times the second current. And now in order to eliminate the 7, I've got to divide by 7. Whatever I do to one side, I've got to do to the other. So divide by 7 gives me I2. And 24 divided by 7 gives me 3.43 amps. Okay, so the second current is 3.43 amps. Now when we drop that into our chart below, right? we've got the 3.43 amps. And we've got the 120 that goes across everything because it's a parallel circuit. And now we can find all of the values for the circuit. So let's see. Let's start over here on the left hand, on the, the right hand side. So we have uh, double 3.43, right? So two times the second current, giving me 6.86. There's 120 volts across that resistor. So 120 divided by 6.86 gives me 17.5 ohms. The heat that's coming off of this third resistor would be the voltage, 120, times the current of 6.86, giving me a wattage of 823.2 watts. The second resistor has 120 across it as well. Its current we found to be 3.43. So 120 divided by 3.43 gives me a resistance value of 35 ohms. The power value for this guy is 120 times 3.43, giving me 411.6 watts. The first resistor was half of the second current, right? So 3.43 divided by 2 gives me 1.715 amps. And 120 volts divided by 1.715 amps gives me 70 ohms. The power value for this guy, 120 times 1.715 amps, gives me 205.8 watts. 
and then we knew that the total current was 12 amps so let's just make sure that all of our individual currents add up to 12 so 1.715 plus 3.43 plus 6.86 gives me 12.005 amps beautiful so everything's working out okay if i do the 120 so the 120 times the 12 is going to give me 1440 watts and 120 divided by the 12 is going to give me the 10 ohms so you can do uh, the reciprocal equation with your 70 ohms 35 and 17 and a half to make sure you get 10 ohms for your total and let's just double check all our values here for the power and see if they add to a value that's close to 1440. So 205.8 plus 411.6 plus 823.2 gives me a value of 1440.6 watts. Gorgeous. So all the voltages are the same. The current sum to give me 12 amps and the power value sum to give me 1440 watts. All right, guys. Uh, stop it here, and then start playing on number eight. Number nine is the next one, guys. I think number nine starts getting into uh, series parallel combination.